welcome to this new vlog. Yeah, yesterday we drove two and a half hours from uh, Thessaloniki and we arrived at Limni Vihulitida, the lake. It's very beautiful here. Yeah, it's not an unexpected stop. We had uh, another stop in mind, but we're so happy we stopped here. Yeah. And we're so happy we woke up at six this morning. <laughs> <laughs> to soak it all in the birds. Yeah. It's cool. It's really nice. Yeah. Because during the day it's very hot. Yeah. And later today or later this morning. We will leave Greece. We will leave Greece yeah. and drive to our next country on this trip. North Macedonia. North Macedonia. First stop, North. Lake Orit. Another lake. To see our friends again. Yeah, after 14 months we will see friends again. We left them last yeah. year in Greece, in the Peloponnese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see them again. North Macedonia is only a small country, but yeah. I guess a lot to see. Yeah. We're going to make a little loop. A lot of nature, I think. Hopefully a lot of nature. <laughs> and of course, capital of Skopje. Yeah. But first, like we said, Lake Orit and a reunion with friends. It's great here. Amazing. Going to soak up the nature here. Take our time, we're not in a hurry. Have breakfast and go to the border. This was a swift border crossing, nine minutes in total, Greek side and uh, North Macedonian side. Just past um, the last customs control, we stopped at the toilet, like dogs, mark our territory. And then we drive to our friends, uh, they're camping at uh, Lake Orit right now. So easy here, hopefully it stays this way. Orit now in the city center. So we almost at the lake where we see our friends uh, Steffi and Alex back. So very excited. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who <laughs> <laughs> we have here? Hello. Steffi and Alex. This was a nice reunion after 14 months with um, Steffi and Alex, without camera of course. Um, it's now 12 o'clock but uh, we're hungry, we had an early breakfast at Lake, traveled one hour back in time crossing the border so we have a little sandwich now. And in the afternoon we park here next to the lake, we can see the city on the other side, we're going to walk to Orit, visit Orit uh, in search of an ATM and also we need a SIM card. And we might stay in town tonight uh, and have a drink there because it's quite affordable, they said. Or we move to a more natural spot, more in nature to have a drink ourselves. We'll see. But first lunch and then we go to in, into the city. had a little snack, uh, burek, local burek. We had one with potatoes, our friends had one with cheese. Now we walk in the local vegetable market. Uh, probably we're going to buy some strawberries so we can have a uh, pancake tomorrow morning. We have some coconut yogurt. She's going to buy some strawberries. Four of us will have a delicious breakfast tomorrow. Oh. Four of us returned all sweaty from the city center. It's really hot, it's now around five o'clock and it didn't cool down yet. Maybe we go for a dip in the lake. But we came back with an unpleasant surprise. We found a ticket under the wipers from our windshield. 
Although the police told our friends we didn't have to pay yet. Maybe ask them again if they can arrange it or not. And we had no SIM card, so we yeah. couldn't The pay only them. method to pay your parking ticket here is via an SMS, is a, yeah, via a text message. Yeah. And we just returned from the city center with our SIM card. Before that, when we parked, we couldn't even, we couldn't even pay. No. It's a bummer. Ooh, a lot happened. Now we are leaving Lake Orange together with our friends because we are not welcome in the cities with a van. Uh, we went to the police uh, because we had uh, because of the ticket, and he told us wherever you park, you have to pay with a SIM card. Uh, but it's a prepaid SIM card we have as a foreigner, so we can't pay any parking ticket. Um, so nowhere we're not, in the country. Nowhere in the country. So we everywhere we will park, we will get a fine. Yeah, we so will get a fine anyway because we're campers. Yeah, because we are campers and they want only the campers on campgrounds and not in the city center of the park. Even parkings. at 3 o'clock in the afternoon if you want to have a coffee somewhere. No. Yeah. So we decided we will drive to nature now. Uh, and the parking ticket we have it in our car because it's all in, in the local language. We can't even read it. And we'll see if they ask us to pay us at the border when we leave. We will pay. So. Hopefully next place we are more welcome. It looks like we found a place and it's checking out because the actual place is 200 meters down the road. It's a very narrow access road for both of us uh, next to a small lake. It's a bit murky water I guess I don't know if it's swimmable but the reason Anne is looking down, uh, down uphill, it's uphill actually. Uh, if there's a parking spot for two of us, because here it is a wider band, maybe we can park there with a view of the lake. No, no, yet. She here in the distance walking down, swapping away the mosquitoes. <laughs> in hindsight, that border crossing was way too easy this morning. Uh, yeah, but finally, we managed to get a spot. It's not a dream spot. It looks like one, but uh, this place is infested with flies. And within an hour it will be infested with mosquitoes, I'm afraid. But it's beautiful next to a lake, although it's a bit murky so we can't swim in it. It's in the middle of nature, birds are singing. Fairly level spots we found. So hopefully we can sit outside because inside it's too hot in the van. Now it was 38 when we returned from the city. Steffi and Alex, it was 43. So it's hot. Ah. Now it's time for a drink. Pure o'clock, somewhere in the world. morning as you can see sun is out again it was only a short night I hope to sleep for at least eight hours it was only a six hour night but it's okay and we had a great night with uh, Steffi and Alex yesterday a German couple who we met the first time last year in Albania we saw them back in Greece a few weeks later and we traveled for a few weeks together now after 14 months we see each other back here in North Macedonia. Uh, what's going to happen today? Once Anne is awake we will make pancakes for the four of us. We bought fresh strawberries yesterday, coconut yogurt. We'll enjoy our breakfast and after that yeah probably yeah the cursed dishes of course but what's going to happen afterwards no idea.
12, 12, 30 already and we're still here. So I guess we stay here another night. It's very good under the tree. Is this an olive tree? Yes. No. No? It looks don't like olive. I don't know olives. what fruits, so which fruits, fruits these are. Fruits. Oh, by the way, it's pizza night tonight. morning this morning we were woken up by the sheep no problem with that your worst sounds to wake up by um, Anne is making a uh, juice breakfast juice with oats fruits uh, yogurt somewhere hidden behind that curtain because you can't survive here without a mosquito screen hundreds of millions of flies and mosquitoes here we're not complaining because it's beautiful here Although we are, I'm thinking we're leaving today, looking to the other van, I think we leave today to a different national park, another spot by the lake, about a two hours drive probably. Still no sounds from the other van, but I think it's time to leave after breakfast, pack up things, take it easy today, maybe do some shopping along the way, we'll see. No hurry, no stress. just left our camping spot where we stayed for two days it was really a great time we had the pizza night and time together with our friends and now we go to a village or city Struga where we want to do some shopping um, and hopefully we find a parking space where we want to yeah, get more fine. luck <laughs> compared to Oritz yeah. it should be a free gravel parking over there yeah and then coming phone call back in the city city life can start uh, we drove to the city center with our vans and it looks like a nice city. more than we've been told way beyond what we can hold so keep your eyes open for the things that really matter oh we have to give it one more try now that the idiots are taking on Quite a lot has happened today, didn't pick up the camera that much, just come back from the supermarket, did some shopping, the four of us, and now we're driving, oh, oh another two hours, I thought it was one and a half hour. Uh, it's another two hours through the mountains to a little lake, so... And a monument? And a monument, but I don't know if we park at the monument, I think the monument, near is, the monument it's near the monument, yeah. because we want to park at the lake because it's hot again, and it's so hot. hopefully we can have a swim there. Two hour drive. It's really a pleasure to drive around in North Macedonia because the landscape is so green, it's such beautiful nature. Good, good, good roads up till now. Good roads, yeah. yeah. Because nice. now we're driving more into the mountains, going the direction of the mountains. I'm not sure, but it's real 
Look beautiful here, very beautiful. I owe you an apology. I have no footage of yesterday's arrival it's a and shame. it's a shame it's because a it was, shame. was beautiful. Not that easy to find. It's a small lake, there are different access roads. We are looking for a place in nature. Almost impossible. So we're now we're in nature, still in nature, but closer to yeah, all the people, uh, day trippers. It's a beautiful place. View of the lake. Good place to have my coffee. Later today we go to the monument here, it's about a 15 minute walk, our friends already went yesterday in the dark, they are much younger so we were tired, we stayed in our van, we went to bed early, but uh, in a minute when uh, we finished our coffees we go there, the Ilian monument, and maybe you can hear the helicopter coming in the distance, there must be somewhere a forest fire around here, and he's uh, flying back and forth already all morning to pick up water from the lake. Back at the van, uh, it was only a short visit, we didn't went inside. Uh, it's nice, is it worth the drive to here? For the monument alone not, but uh, it was a beautiful drive. I have a beautiful park up, so was it worth it? Of course it was. I'm going to have a quick lunch before we leave to Mavrovo National Park. Quick sandwich, then a two hour drive to the park. And we can park at the lake hopefully so we can jump in because we will be overheated again once we're there. We had a good lunch, a small sandwich, and now we're on the way to Mavrovo National Park. It's only two hours drive from the last place we were. And there we want to do some hikes, but small ones because it's very hot. Not for a whole day hiking. And a swim. A very and a waterfall. Oh, and a waterfall. A swim in the lake and a waterfall. And a monastery. And a monastery. So there's so much to see there. Mavrovo National Park. Or like they call it here, Mavrovo. <laughs> yes, Mavrovo. No. Mavrovo National Park. <laughs> oh. Again, a very beautiful drive. North Macedonia yeah. is uber green. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing country to drive to. Yeah. What are you going to do here? Swimming. In Swimming. The lake. Won't wait for five minutes. We're going to hike maybe, although it's very hot and humid. Going to go Spending time with our friends. Most importantly, spending time with our friends, we go together to a monastery, to a waterfall. But unfortunately, it's a very beautiful spot. Mm -hmm. We have to leave tomorrow. Because there's rain coming. There's rain coming. But all these days, all these things, sorry, National Park, leaving, fleeing for the rain, it's for next vlog, for next week. Yeah. So I hope you like this one. And you want to see more about North Macedonia. And which National Park, remember? No, help me. Mavrovo National Mavrovo. Park. Next week, more of it. <laughs> Together with uh, the Tova Monastery or it's not a monastery. It's a monastery, yes. It's a monastery. Yeah, I think. And together with Safi and Alex. It's the mosque. 
<laughs> but we're still <laughs> together with Alex and Steffi and we're going to visit Skopje as well with them. Yeah. We're going to kayak. A lot to do in next vlog, but for this vlog, like and said, give a thumbs up, leave a comment. And subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. So thank you for watching and see, see you next, next week. week. And now time for a swim. Bye-bye. It's the storm.